So in this video, I will show what is the best accelerometer for research in 2023. I will show three great options that you can use as an accelerometer for sedentary behavior and physical activity research. I will first show Actigraph has been used a lot in research, so they have different generation of devices. They have a new Actigraph Leap, which is not available yet. And you can see that it's meant to be worn on the wrist. And the earlier versions, you could detach and wear it also on the thigh. But that's not how it's mainly designed. There's not an easy way to attach it on the thigh. So basically it is a wrist worn accelerometer and it does well what it's meant to be doing on the wrist. But my argument would be that if you're really interested in sedentary behavior, the wrist is not very good. Basically you cannot really detect accurately sedentary behavior. So how wrist worn devices are Detecting sedentary behavior is that there is no movement on the wrist and that would be sedentary behavior. But then we cannot do posture allocation. We don't know whether the person is standing or sitting because we are only looking the movement of the wrist. So if you want accurate data of sedentary behavior and physical activity, I would recommend using a Taiwan devices and there is two good options for that. And first, from the thigh-worn devices, I will introduce ActivePal, which has been used in a lot of different research studies, and it is worn on the thigh, so basically then it can detect between sitting and standing from the orientation of the device, and it can classify activities to different categories, like for example, walking, cycling, and different intensities. It doesn't have modern cloud features which are making the research process easier. So that's why I want to introduce the Fibion Sense, a cloud-based accelerometer. So it's a tiny, fully waterproof device and it provides five months measurement time and you can control the device from the cloud. So basically you can just click and start measurements and in a similar way you can just stop the devices so it's very easy to manage large research projects because you can control everything in the cloud you can also access the cloud from a smartphone it also provides a very easy to use patch that it's easy to attach the device on the thigh the patch stays nicely about two weeks. And then if we look at the features for the researchers, it's providing automatically result variables. So you, you don't need to analyze the data. You can see right away in the cloud, the different activity categories. But for future proofing, it also provides the three axis acceleration signal so you will have it and you can easily export it from the cloud in different formats so basically each researcher in a research group can access the data easily they can download they can start analyzing so it makes the management of the research project much easier and as the last option, I wanted to introduce the Fibion research device. So again, Taiwan device, and it provides very easy measurements, very easy feedback for participants. So basically you, you get an interactive online report where participants can see their results. They can see energy expenditure. There's also goal setting tools. They can print out different PDF reports. So if you are just interested of scientifically validated sedentary behavior and you want to create feedback reports and get at the same time the research data, it's a very practical system with scientifically validated results. So in overall, I introduced 
three brands which I think are the best options in 2023 for sedentary behavior and physical activity measurements. Thanks for watching and you can leave feedback on the comments and we will link some videos here so if you're interested to learn more check them.